people uh, are two to join, they will join us. I'm welcoming Dr. Famba, uh, my colleague is here. Uh, thank you, Dr. Famba, for joining us and the rest of the team. Okay, we we'll, thought so today we are going to look on manufacturing accounts, but we are going to borrow so, some of the concepts, some of the key items from the previous lecture, from the previous lesson on the sole trade account, on the preparation of uh, manufacturing, uh, on the preparation of financial statements. So it means uh, you are all expected to have in basic knowledge borrowed from the previous lesson. So you should heavily borrow from that so that at least you can able to grasp this concept uh, without problems. Um, I've posted a slide. Uh, you see the slide there? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Because of network, uh, sometimes I have to ask you. I uh, want to look on the manufacturing account. Understand that when I'm manufacturing, Usually, uh, the business buy raw materials for manufacturing. So when you buy raw materials, for example, uh, when you are manufacturing, uh, maybe you are manufacturing a soft industry, they might buy raw materials such as maybe oil yes. uh, or other perfumes yes. needed uh, or other uh, ingredients. Yes which are needed. So you buy raw materials, and then you convert these into finished products, which can be sold. So the idea here is that when you buy raw material, you incur cost. You can, no one can donate you these raw materials every time, but usually you should purchase, you should buy, you incur expenses. Then when you're converting, you incur a conversion cost. So then conversion cost usually, we're talking about the labor which is needed, the cost of the machine, of machinery, which is what uh, producing. You, you, you need to, uh, to save that machine. And the, those are some of the overheads. You need the lightning, lighting. You need the uh, water. You need the place to do it. So you need to pay rent. So all these costs are likely to be, uh, you incur those costs. So, for example, here in the motor industry, here, uh, you find out that uh, they should convert the raw material so that they come up with a car. So they should come up with the engines. There is a machining department, a fabrication in a department, an assembling department, so that they convert these raw materials into finished products. That is a, a car. Here again, you can find out that when they are producing. Uh, an aeroplane again, they demand they have what, uh, some of the materials usually which are expensive so that they can come up with it. So that is very important for us when people are doing tailoring. Again, they can, they want to convert uh, the cloth which has been purchased into proper uh, clothes, into proper attire. So they are converted into a from raw materials to finished goods. So let's start by looking on the key elements uh, course. The key elements course here, we have got direct materials. Direct materials, these are very important. These are cost of the materials used during the period. Those are direct materials. It's very key important. So for you to manufacture a, a car, or to manufacture even a bicycle, you need raw materials, you need uh, tires, you need uh, wheels, uh, and other uh, raw materials. Even let's say you are a carpenter. For you as a carpenter, you need to buy planks, you need to buy uh, screws so that you can able to come up with a, a cable. So these are what? Uh, what call raw materials. So cost of the materials is during the period, these are raw materials. So how do you uh, measure it? The money measurement uh, unit should come into uh, place. You 
because here we include the purchase price of the raw materials. How much have you uh, purchased to bring those raw materials into use? How much have you paid to the suppliers? How much have you paid to the people who sell planks so that at least you can uh, able to Acquisition cost related to the pages. So we've got the acquisition cost related to the pages, which is good. Sometimes I'm talking about the carriage, what inwards. The cost of bringing that item, that asset, those raw materials is part of what? Of our assets. So of assets in use. So that the acquisition cost. Example, purchase of raw materials. When you purchase, for example, Maybe you, you are in a manufacturing industry of uh, manufacturing um, a planks, you are a carpenter, you can purchase raw materials, then sometimes find out that for you to transport those planks, maybe from uh, uh, Nyanga, uh, Nyanga forestry to Harare, you need the, to pay for the, for the transport fee that the carriage inwards, freight charges on raw materials. The freight charges again, uh, when you are transporting, you pay them. So our direct material, it consists of the purchase price, the amount which is paid to the supplier, and also the amount which you are going to pay to bring that asset to its location or to bring to the location or to bring the asset into a usable uh, form. So those are consists of raw materials. So you should understand that raw materials does not only include the purchase price of the raw materials, but it also includes the acquisition cost, the cost which has been uh, we are incurring by the well, by the entity to bring the uh, raw materials into what into use. Oh. Then you go on to direct no, labor. No, direct labor for you no, as no, a carpenter no. to come up with the tables. You no. need to, for you as the owner of the carpentry shop uh, to bring come up with the tables. Um, what you need to do, you need to make sure that you employ carpenters who are going to uh, to do the job. Uh, we are going to do the carpenter's work, so you pay them wages. So direct labor, including wages, paid the people who are directly involved in the manufacturing process, who are directly involved in the manufacturing process. People who are actually doing the job, maybe they're in the assembly industry. Those people maybe are assembling the, the car parts of the car. Those people who are directly involved uh, in the process, those that is direct labor. And the, those people who are not directly involved, such as the administrators and supervisors, they are not part of the direct labor. So example of direct labor are direct wages, factory wages, production wide wages, and manufacturing wages. These are the people who are directly involved in the manufacturing process of, uh, of our goods. So that is what we call direct labor. Then we go on and uh, look again on the next. That is our um, direct expenses. Direct expenses, they refer to the expense paid according to each into production. Example, royalty. For example, uh, you can use the name Coca-Cola or Pep. What happened that the Coca-Cola of Zimbabwe who pay a certain amount to the maid to the head office for using the royalty of the Coca Cola? Because royalty sometimes they are using the the, the ingredients uh, which were supplied by uh, by the the company, the the mother uh, company. In this case, maybe Coca Cola from uh, Switzerland or from USA, pay from USA, then you pay a certain amount. In terms of realities. So those are the keywords. Those are 
we are talking about the direct material, direct labor, direct expenses. Then you go on to the next one. We've got factory overhead expenses. The factory overhead expenses are called, you can call them indirect what? Indirect costs. These are called sometimes indirect costs. Indirect costs, both they are not directly uh, related or attributable to the production of goods and what and services. Cost and paid in the manufacturing process, but they cannot be traced directly to the goods being produced. That's called an indirect what cost. So these are costs that incurred in the manufacturing process, but they cannot be traced directly to the goods being produced. <laughs> include indirect labor, indirect, indirect materials, indirect labor, and indirect expenses. Examples of indirect materials are lubricants. That is loose tools. They are not uh, lubricants. Uh, maybe for oiling, or maybe for making that the, the screws, they can fit easily. Or even if it is a vehicle, motor vehicle, we are trying to make sure that there is what there is a uh, reduce the friction. Then indirect labor. Indirect labor in this case, we are talking about the wages, salaries, bonus, or commission to cleaners, train drivers, foremen, supervisors, and production managers. These are not these people are not directly involved in the manufacturing of goods and services. So we call them their indirect work labor, the, the, the wages of the supervisor, the wages of the production manager, the wages of the foreman. The wages of the crane drivers, all these, they are not directly involved in the production of goods. And they cannot be traced directly to the goods being produced at that particular time. That's why they are called, they are indirect towards labor. Uh, indirect expenses, again, we've got indirect expenses, the factory, machinery and vehicle. This includes rent and rent. You, you need to pay rent. If you don't pay rent, it becomes a what? A big problem. People are expected to pay rent. Okay. Uh, sorry for a few minutes and to answer the call. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry, welcome back. Um, indirect expenses, sorry for the stepping, indirect expenses related to the factory, machinery, and vehicles. We're talking about the rent and rates. You need to pay rent where you are. You need to pay rates to the city council. You need to pay rates, uh, for example, if to the people sometimes, maybe uh, uh, renting, you need to pay rates and rent. Appreciation. The machinery when it is manufacturing uh, the products, when it's manufacturing those products, it's depreciate, that is the loss of what of value wear and tear. Insurance, you need insurance to be insured in case of emergencies, such as fire outbreak, such as theft, and any other incident which might happen. So you need insurance. Then you are talking about repairs and maintenance. Repairs and what? 
maintenance. In the repairs and maintenance, you find out that uh, you need to do it. This need to be taken care of because the machinery might break down and need to be repaired and maintained so that it remain in form, so that it remain does not disturb the smooth production of goods and services. So the machinery should remain in a uh, maintained so that at least it won't disrupt the production of goods and services. Then we've got factory power. In a factory power, find out that you need electricity to run um, uh, our systems. So we might use our generators, sometimes it's very expensive, but you need to add, you need electricity so that at least you can able to run our machineries, to run our um, production process. So we should pay for that. Then we need internal transport. So internal transport, we need to move from A to B. That is very critical. We need to move from one point to another point. Loss on disposal. If we lose, we dispose maybe during that particular period, we dispose the asset of the asset which are related usually to the factory. Maybe a small, maybe can dispose a certain uh, department. Then, if you have got a loss, NK loss. That is what you call CNK. If you fail to make a profit, you NK what? A loss. Okay. Any pro, any query before we proceed? Hey, hey, hey. Keep in the ego. Yes, you can continue. Yes. Uh, can we continue? Do you have any person? Yes, 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 continue. Yes, can ask. yes. Or we continue? Yes. Or oh, you are rushing to go and write the test. You do not write. Okay, let's continue. Then we go on to what to call production cost. Yes. So our production cost consists uh -huh. of prime cost. That is prime cost. That is the uh, I Okay, we need to have order. Uh, I gave you time to talk and you were quiet. Uh, so if you want to talk, you can raise up your hand. Then I'll give you an opportunity to contribute because your contribution is very important to us. So I do hope with immediate effect, people, they will use the right channel to talk. If you want to talk your own, um, to have your own discussion, you are allowed, but you should make sure that you mute so that we don't hear your your discussion, so that at least your discussion won't disturb the progress of this lesson. I thank you. Okay, let's talk about the prime cost here. So our prime cost production cost consists of prime cost. We said our prime cost or direct cost, they consist of direct material, direct labor and direct expenses that consists of our what of our prime what prime cost like what we're saying say we are talking about direct material dm we are talking about uh, again direct labor we are talking about again direct expenses Direct expenses. This can make our prime what 
uh, our PM course. So this is very critical. Then we have got um, plus tax overhead expenses, like what we're saying here to say we've got the tax overhead expenses. We go on to this uh, slide when we talked about to say, a uh, example, we've got indirect overhead expense, we've got the uh, lubricants, loose tools, indirect labor, and so on. These are factor overhead what expenses. We've got the related to the factory machinery of vehicles because they use machinery to produce goods and services. Then you need vehicles to transport those goods. You need vehicles to transport maybe uh, the raw materials. So this can form our indirect what indirect expenses. So that is our production cost, made of prime cost plus what fixed overhead expenses. So these are called you can say prime cost, they can be direct cost, and the fixed overhead expenses can be indirect cost. Then work in progress. It refers to the same finished goods. We should include it in the cost of goods manufactured. Because work in progress, you might be the end, maybe the end at 2023, but find out that we might have somewhat, might have some uh, work remaining, some work which is not finished some finished uh, work, unfinished work, so that is work in progress. So we should not stop the production, but we continue with what? The production. So that is very important. Same thing good, we should be included in the cost of gold manufactured. So we take only the labor and cage by that particular time, that the raw material, the raw material usually is in full, because it has already been what? It's been already uh, it's been already inserted into the uh, machinery. So we need to take care of that. Say some of the goods we might close our books at the end of the year, but we've got the work in progress. So we've got the goods which are stored, which are still to be processed. Because some goods they might not need only one day, they might need several days to complete a certain uh, product. So because of that, uh, you what you give us a uh, somewhat some the uh, work in progress. Okay, let's look on the manufacturing account. Uh, it shows the production cost or transfer price of goods completed during the accounting period. It shows the production cost or transfer price of goods completed during the accounting period. For example, you've got direct labor, you've got direct direct materials, as we are saying, direct expenses. All these three, that is what we call the accord, the accord prime, this amount to prime what? Prime cost. Prime cost or direct expenses. Direct cost. Okay, then you've got fixed overhead expenses, work in progress, and manufacturing profit and loss. So we are going to find out to uh, look on those aspects. How are we going preparing this manufacturing account? How are we preparing the profit and loss and so on? But what we are saying, because of that, before we do that, we need to make sure that we understand the key concept. Should able to ascertain, should able to pick the basic concept, identify what is a raw material and what is not a raw material. That is very critical. So here we are going to start on the trading account. This one is a similar to the trading account, normal trading account, which we did last time when we were looking on the preparation of financial statements. We looked on the trading account. So the trading account here, we are saying it's just a the similar format. 
but here because we, we are talking about what the stock um this inventory the inventory which has been purchased and the inventory which has been uh, transferred to the manufacturing to the production so that is what is very important for us to understand that so this account shows the gross profit or a loss resulting from the trading of manufactured and other purchased goods the account includes sales what you have sold as usual cost of goods sold but in this case our cost of goods sold consists of what? That's what I'm supposed to understand. Consists of the opening century, then it. <laughs> then you've got manufactured goods and other what? Other goods. EM profit and loss account. Profit and loss of the whole business during the accounting period. So the trading account and profit loss account they are different. For trading account, we are only talking about what one day gross what one day what to call a gross profit. We are only talking about the cost of goods what sold again the sales. Cost of goods sold consists of manufactured goods and other goods. Profit and loss, profit and loss of the whole business during the accounting period includes all the expenses. This includes all the expenses and income related to the office and the running of the whole business, such as gross profit loss from the trading account, the manufacturing what profit loss. Those who should have our manufacturing profit or loss. Then we have got administration expenses again. The directors for who are um, who are the champions of the business who are on the strategic position, those administrations, then selling and distribution expenses, then financial expenses, then individual distribution of realized profit, net abnormal loss, cash misappropriated, losses of raw material, and loss of finished goods. So if there is a normal loss, usually that normal loss uh, it can do what Abnormal loss, abnormal loss can be transferred to the profit and loss. Some expenses are related to both the manufacturing process and the administration of the office, such as rent and rates, electricity, insurance, depreciation on premises, motor mm. vehicles, uh, uh, motor vehicles, and motor vehicle expenses. So those like uh, um, expenses, they are such as rent and rates, to understand they are classified under administration, such as administration of the office. So we need to understand those critical words. Then these expenses allocated the factory and offices and deducted to the manufacturing account and the and loss account respectively. The base of allocation I usually give in an exam present. Sometimes can be given the what the basis of allocation to say two thirds of the administration should be allocated of the it enlightening it will be allocated to to factory or to each department. Like what we're doing on the departmental uh, stores last semester. When we look, uh, when we're looking about the the department of stores, you will see that to say post can be allocated. If the uh, uh, management can decide, maybe on the usage or the flow space, depending on the management's what's the criteria, so that it comes there. Okay. Any any question before we move uh, further? Any question before we move further? <laughs> Any question?
Just any person. Hello, any question before we move to the next, the, the kick, the critical uh, part of our today's lesson? Send the Kupunza per profit and loss account and on your tools, yeah. sister. Per profit and loss account? Eh. Hey. Ah, all right. <laughs> the guy paid sight and manufacturing account and this. Hey. All right. But set up a then you understand. Ah, Papa, we're just looking on the basics. Uh, key words so that when you meet them on the format, you can understand what do they mean. And how do we classify those costs? Like what I say, that the costs are, uh, can be uh, classified as direct or indirect. Let's look on the manufacturing account here. Yeah, you are going to look on the, it's just a, a format. Okay, what you need to do, that is, you should look on the opening stock of raw materials. This manufacturing account. Opening stock of raw material. In an opening stock of raw material, what you do, you just check on the, uh, it, it will be the closing day, cl closing uh, stock for the previous what period. Then becomes our opening stock for this period. Opening stock. Let's say your year ended the 31 December 2022. Which means that this one becomes your the opening stock for the year 31 2023. Becomes the opening stock. Then you add the purchase of raw materials. So when you add the purchase of raw materials, then you add carriage inwards. Like what we do here, we say opening stock. Eight purchases, less closing stock. What we do in our in our normal, in our usual, a sole trader, a sole trader free trading account. Then after that, we looked on the closing <coughs> stock of raw materials here. This is the stock of raw materials. Closing. So let's say this one is one. Let's say one January. One January. Thousand and twenty two. And this one. That is closing stock of raw materials. That is becomes the. Now we do send off and see. That is one January. We want to say maybe one January. Let's say here one. January 2022 <laughs> on January 2022 yeah. okay then here we have got the purchase of raw materials. The amount, mm -hmm. the, the purchase consideration, the amount which is paid to the suppliers during that particular period. 
then carriage inwards to bring those inventory into use. Then, like what we are saying, then the closing. Um, here we have got now the closing what? The closing uh, stock of raw materials. Let's say this will be week one September. Eight one December twenty twenty three. So here we left the closing talk of raw materials as a take once about us in twenty two. So if they are saying the opening inventory uh, maybe for for Chuma Limited is two million, then you what? Then you do the same. You use what? You can go and try to make sure that you understand that with the opening stock is for when you are opening our books, closing stock when you are closing our books. Then you have got cost of raw materials consumed here. Because this one, opening stock plus purchases plus carriage inwards minus stock of raw materials, they will give you cost of raw materials consumed. So you should understand this format to say, yeah, you supposed to have cost of raw materials consumed. That is what you only consume during that particular period. Then you go direct wages. This one is the it doesn't have a closing what an opening stock. Then you go direct expenses, let's say royalties. Again, this one does not what much labor. We don't have to suffer more on that. Okay. So then we go to sexual overhead. Sexual overhead here yeah, we've got direct wages. Uh, we've got sexual, we've got loose tools, open balance like purchasing balance. When it's close in balance, that is X range, each may be 25%. Maybe they are saying the rent is paid or the 25% the value of the machinery. So you pay 25% to the value of what? 25% to the value of the machinery. Depending on the criteria already being paid, there's a big charge, one for all. Then the manager's salary, production manager's salary again, it can offer the expense, six to power. Need electricity to, so that you can able to generate revenue, so that you can able to to fly out, so that you can able to uh, run your business in a modern way, whereby you need to invest in what energy. Then maintenance of plant and equipment, the equipment need to be maintained, and the professional also need to be maintained. That is very important. Then depreciation of plant and machinery. Again, depreciation of plant and scenario. Then you go on, then you add opening work in progress. Then you left closing work in progress. Then production cost of goods completed. Production cost and goods completed. That's very important. So any question before we go further on the manufacturing account? But the idea here is for you to understand the key elements, the key um, words which are, go, which are used, like what, that's why we started by what discussing, to look for, uh, deeply onto these key words. Any question on manufacturing account? Any question? Any question? Hello, class.
any question on infrastructure account hello class any question any question on my factoring account okay if you don't have any question let's go on to the next one that is uh, we looked on the issue of trading account like one of the previous speaker was asking about the trading account trading account here for the end of the one chamber sales let's read inwards and so i'm um, sales to write sales then let's return inwards so you start by uh, preparing the manufacturing account then after preparing the manufacturing account then uh, you go and this figure one day you are going to use it the production cost of goods completed then cost of goods of sales we have got opening stock of finished goods. We have got production co cost of goods completed. We have got purchases of finished goods. We have got retained outwards. Then we have got closing stock of finished goods. So we are going to pick the figure from. So you cannot prepare a trading account before you prepare the manufacturing account. Because the figure of production cost for goods completed needed here so what you need to do is to make sure that you prepare the right manufacturing account first then purchase of finished goods so our opening stock of finished goods is going to be added production cost of goods completed like the purchases of finished goods less return outwards less closing stock of finished goods okay yeah, and then we've got a gross profit. So we pick this figure like here from the manufacturing account, then that the figure which we have here. So then opening stock of finished goods as we do in the normal what certain profit account. Then let's finish off what goods. Then return outwards was they retained what outwards. These are what are uh I'm at ten onwards, inwards. Retain inwards when customer retaining to do see what our sales. Those are sales retained. Those are purchase retained. Okay, the other one who was uh, asking question, if you answered. Yes, sir. And, okay, if answered. So now we are supposed to do a trading account. So you don't start by preparing a trading account. You should start by by preparing a manufacturing what account. Because the answer we want the answer here for production cost of goods completed here. We want it here. That's why it's very important to what make sure that this is the manufacturer. Then profit and loss account, gross profit here, agent revenues, discount received, expenses, carriage outward. Okay? allowed administration expenses vision expenses selling expenses application of motor then then you get a network a net profit then you get a net profit any question if you go to another stage Any question? Okay, on the next session, we will do a practical example. On the next session, we'll do a practical example. So just take a, a, a rest, a, just a break for about 15 minutes. So it's 9.55. Or do a, a person.
or we'll start a person so that we insert those figures who we'll do a, a person. Okay. So don't log out unless if your data is so low, so that we'll finish off with the we'll, we'll look on the practical questions from twenty from five to ten.
Hello, colleagues. Hello, sir. Okay, well, welcome back to this, uh, to this second session. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello, say. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Where are Can you quickly join? Can you tell your friend to join now? I'll just give you five minutes. Say, Maktor, Kura, Chekunzway. I'm talking. How did you? I'll try to accommodate everyone. Let me try to find another mic that at least we can go together. They will come in. Thank <laughs> you. 
சொல்லு சரி பண்ணு வாட் சொல்லுங்க <laughs> <laughs> ma <laughs> 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 Exhibit yeah. 73. 7.3. Just this and this. All right, let me try to 
Ikure. We try to make sure that large. Can you tell now? Oh. 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 Now? How far? Yeah, both ways. Can I get a Hello? Yeah, basket. Trail balance. Trail balance is at 31 December 2007. Stock of raw materials. 21,000. Stock of finished goods. 38,000. Factory indirect one hundred and forty-five thousand. Royalties seven thousand. Carriage inwards on raw materials three thousand five hundred. Purchases of raw materials three hundred and seventy thousand. Productive machinery it costs two hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and eighty thousand. Ah, same figures I can see guy. See, hello, go pane two hundred and eight pane two hundred and eighty thousand in my brackets because it may cool debit side. say. Stock of raw material one one two thousand and seven twenty one thousand. Stock of fish goods one one two thousand and seven thirty eight thousand nine hundred. The wages direct one eighty. Factory one forty five one forty five plus one eighty gives us three twenty five. Are we seeing different slides? You add one forty five plus one eighty sum three twenty five because they are direct wage and factory indirect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This one. Say, in Rukutara Apopakanzi, productive machinery cost two hundred and eighty thousand, and then you could debit side. Two thirty thousand. I'm only by the bracket. It means there's something wrong with this one. Adjustment. Ah, all right. Sanda, when do you come I enter and you come All right. Administration computers twelve thousand. General factory expenses thirty one thousand. Lighting seven thousand five hundred, factory power thirteen thousand seven hundred, administration salaries forty four thousand, sales reps salaries thirty thousand, commission on sales eleven thousand five hundred, rent twelve thousand, insurance four thousand two hundred, general expenses thirteen thousand four hundred. Bank charges two thousand three hundred, discount allowed four thousand eight hundred, carriage outwards five thousand nine hundred, sales one million, debtors and creditors. Debtors we have got uh, one hundred and forty-two thousand three hundred, and creditors of sixty-four thousand. Then bank sixteen thousand eight hundred, cash one point five. Drawings sixty thousand. Yeah. Drawings sixty thousand. Then capital three three hundred and fifty-seven thousand eight hundred. Then our balances were one million four hundred and twenty-one eight hundred. 
Chapeira. Vai ser com a Ed. Chapeira. É. A uma primeira turma. Yeah. What's back here? Which pizza above? Then notes at 31, 12, 27. One, stock of raw materials, 24,000. Stock of finished goods, 40,000. Work in progress, 15,000. Then the second note, uh, lighting, rent and insurance are to be apportioned. Factory, uh, five over six, administration, one over six. Then the third one, depreciation on productive and administration computers at 10% per annum on cost. I'm <laughs> Hello, colleagues. Hello. 
Hello, colleagues. Hello. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yes. Okay. So let's go on to how I was supposed to answer this person. So the stock of raw material one. Yes, one. Sir, two, two. Hello. Burundi. Hello. 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 Burundi is where? Hello, sir. Yes. Hello, Burundi is Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Our uh, saying stock of raw materials at 1 1 2007. It's a, it's a closing stock or opening stock. At the beginning of the year, it's opening what stock? Stock of finished goods 1 1. This is a what? A, an opening. Work in progress. That is this one. Then the stock of raw materials 24 at date one. So the date one 12, um, dates are very critical here. You need to be very careful with the dates. So here you need to look on the dates. So they are saying date one 12, and this is one one 2007. So this one, date one 12, which means these are closing what? Are closing figures. So you need to be very careful on this one. Make sure that you understand, you differentiate the opening figures and the closing figures. How do you identify them? We identify them through, um, we identify them through uh, the date. So this one are closing, this raw material is closing. So, so of the goods is the closing, work in progress is closing. So that you don't put the wrong what? The wrong figures. So we start by manufacturing account here. The manufacturing account is stock of raw material that is opening at one one two and one thousand. That is given. This figure is given here. No problem on this one. The given figure. Then you go on to the next. That is eight purchases. The purchases here. A uh, purchase of raw materials. This three hundred and seventy. Thousand. This is three hundred and seventy thousand. Three hundred and seventy thousand. That is the purchase of raw materials. So it's opening stock twenty one thousand. Eight purchases. That is the uh, eight purchases here. That is our when you are adding purchases three hundred and seventy thousand. Then the, if there is carriage inwards, carriage inwards on raw material, this is specifically, then you add again carriage inwards for raw materials. Then after that, then you let closing stock. The closing stock is 24,000. That is given here. Closing stock of raw materials is 24,000. Then after that, we get the cost of raw materials consumed. We get this figure. Cost of raw materials consumed. Here, then I get this figure. Are we together on this section? That the stock of raw materials, the opening that is given on the trial balance. Purchase is given on the trial balance. Carriage in was given on the trial balance. Let's draw materials closing stock at date one twelve. This is the closing white stock is given on the notes. So you read on the notes. Then cost of raw material, this one. Then direct labor. The direct labor is given. We are given our direct labor here. Um there are we are being told that there is um when you come to our trial balance here, 
with um, production machinery, administration, computer, general factory expenses. Cost to 80. Then we come here for our, by looking for the direct labor. Direct labor, it's 180,000. So you pick 180,000 so that you can come up with the prime cost. You don't pick 145. 145 is indirect. This one won't come under what prime cost. So the prime cost here, we write the direct labor 180,000 here. Then after 180,000, you go to royalties. As we had already said, the royalties are part of what? The royalties are part of the direct expenses. The royalties are part of the direct expenses. Then we add. Then we have got prime costs here. Because unless we have got other direct costs. So the prime costs here, we will say the cost of what raw materials consumed plus direct labor plus royalties. Then we get what? Prime cost. Then you go to indirect manufacturing cost. Manufacturing cost. If you are saying manufacturing cost, we are talking about only a only affecting the manufacturing what cost. General general factory expenses. General factory expenses. General fixed expenses. This one figure set one thousand. You pick it and write it. Then you've got fixed power. But here they are saying lightning branch insurance are to be apportioned. Factory five over six, administration one over six. So because of these laws. What do we mean? We are now saying, we are now saying for lightning rent insurance, factory will get five over six, which means that for lightning here, yeah, the factory is going to have five over six of 7,500. For rent, the same thing, five over six of 12,000. Then, for insurance, five over six of four thousand two hundred. That is what we are supposed to do. Then administration will get what one over six because here we should divide. Uh, we should do disclose our expenses accordingly to the nature of uh, to the nature here or the function. So here on this situation, because we want what we want. Uh, here yeah, they are saying administration a uh, production machinery cost to eight and then here is to eighty thousand. Cost is twenty, but here we recorded what to eight. So which means that we have got a problem of what of other elements which were not what which were not uh, catered for. So that's why I find out general fixed expense that is given lighting. It's five over six, like what I said. Power, power is not what uh, going to be uh, apportioned. So if it is not apportioned, which means that our factory power here, lightning and factory power here, they've got this one. Then administration salary, this is clear. Sales rep is not factory commission, it's not factory, but rent. We get five rent insurance, we get five over six. So this one is also included as part of the factory cost. That's why you find out that here we have got five over six, then power is okay. Then the depreciation on productive and administration computer. Computers a 10% per annum on cost on productive and administration 10% per 
a productive and administration 10 percent per annum so there's depreciation here the depreciation on productive and administrative computer so we have got administrative computer and productive machine so the cost here somebody one of my friends was saying why here we've got a cost of 280 and here 230 what are they saying the cost of purchasing this machinery was 280 but the value now is now 230 the value is now 230 maybe due to depreciation the same as computer the cost it means it was purchased at 20000 but now it's now 20000 it's now 12000 so which means that there was a depreciation that's why these figures they are what they are not the same they are not the same because the cost is the cost of buying but now we, in our statement of financial position we want the actual the financial position what is presented by the asset at that particular the current amount so the current amount is 12000 here the current amount is 230000 but the cost it was purchased for 280000 that is very critical here then these are the costs the amount which we uh, we used the amount which we paid when we bring the asset into use according to the standard of IS 16 that when you are when you are going forward with your account you will see that say that was the cost of this so the but they are saying the depreciation is 10 percent per annum on cost per annum on cost so it's 10 percent of 20 yeah, that is 2000 that depreciation 10 percent of 280,000 that's 28,000. So that's why we've got 28,000. 28,000 was derived from the 10% of 280,000 year. Because this is a productive machinery. We know that that is the factory what that the manufacturing cost. Then we've got the indirect labor. Indirect labor is given here 145,000. So you need to separate, you know, where to put the what the indirect and the direct labor. That's why here we have got 145 what 145,000 here. So this is indirect what indirect labor. Then here as usual, we add work in progress. At the first, that is uh, the work in progress. We look here uh, at the beginning, that is 13,500. Then at the end, 15,000. So then the work in uh, so here when we are coming here we are going to say work in progress at the beginning that is 13,500 here then work in progress at the end that is the uh, 15,000 then we get the production of cost of goods completed here we have done with our manufacturing what account so at this um, point who they have done with our manufacturing what account? That is at this point. That is at this point. That is our manufacturing account here. So at this point we have got manufacturing account here that is the the production cost completed which should be transferred into the what the the profit account then sales we pick figures as they are we are given sales here the sales of 1000 so you pick 1000 here that's the sales here of 1000 that is the sales of 1000 here that is my sales then you go on less cost of goods sold stock of finished goods stock of finished goods we pick here that is a given figure stock of finished goods it's a given figure then you add then after that the stock of finished goods then add production cost of goods completed 
we pick here we pick here this one this figure is supposed to be transferred to, to here this figure going to be transferred let me use another color here the green color So this figure, which you, uh, you have calculated here, is going to be transferred here. Be very careful on this one. Need to be very careful. So step by step, so this figure is going to be transferred here. If she has calculated on the manufacturing account, it's transferred here. Then after that, we went on to get this figure 232.350. Talk of finish, this is given here. You pick here on the what? You pick on the, this is picked on the, this is picked again. You pick this figure on the additional information here. Then you have got your gross profit. So what you need to understand after you prepare your manufacturing account, you should understand that production of goods completed at the end should be transferred to the what to the profit account. That's why you find out that we have now this figure. Then administration expenses, administration salaries, that is forty four thousand rent one skist as I have already said, say five skist is the what five skist year. Is for factory. So here yeah, one skis of the remainder, which is one skis of the right of the given figure on the trail balance. So we go on the insurance. The same that is one skis of the same amount. General expenses that is okay is given is for only administrative. It's okay. Lightning one skis. But administration for administration computers is clearly stated. It's for administration computers. So ten percent of this. Because this was 10% per annum, 10% times 20,000, that is 10,000. 10 of 20,000, that is 2,000 here. Because we get this figure after we have said 10% of 2,000. Ten percent of 2,000. That is the uh, year. Then selling and distribution expenses. You should understand. What, 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 you should have the correct sales representative salaries. Thirty thousand given. Commission on sales eleven thousand five hundred given. Carriage outward. A carriage outward. It's a man. For example, when Lobos and Baker's in, when they are transporting a uh, bread to the customers or when they are distributing bread. The NK carriage outwards. When so this carriage outwards are part of selling and distribution expenses. You need to be very, very careful on this one. Then financial charges, these are bank charges, 2,300 discount allowed, 4,800. Then at the end of the day, you get your your profit. Then when you are going to the balance sheet, the balance sheet that the statement of financial position. Production machinery, it cost was seven to eighty, but when it was to eighty thousand here, depreciation to date, um, because there's ten percent per annum. Here we have got the two eighty minus two thirty, so you are saying ten percent of two eighty, then we get the uh, twenty eight thousand. So we say two thirds minus twenty eight thousand was the cost. So we charge ten percent. It cost of two hundred eighty thousand. That is the ten percent of two hundred eighty thousand. Then after that, we say um, twenty eight thousand. We subtract our 
our net value, which is the current amount of two thirds minus twenty eight thousand. That is our balance sheet. Uh, is the same thing what we are going to get if we say that cost for seventy eight thousand was increased after we have said uh, this figure of what we 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 added. Uh, we were saying this one was two thirds, so we're saying the two thirds, which we have is our in two eight minus two thirds. That was what that was fifty. So the accumulated depreciation was fifty thousand. Then you say fifty thousand plus twenty eight for the current year is what seventy eight. So we now have the accumulated depreciation of twenty of seventy eight thousand. That's why here we've got 78,000. That is the accumulated what depreciation because they've got what 78,000. Computer, that is 20 minus 10. Here we've got accumulated depreciation in our computer system. The computer is, um, is a, a value of for, to check here 20, 20 minus 12, which means that there was an accumulated depreciation of 8. That the current year is 2000 on the profit and loss becomes 10. 20 minus 10, then we get what? 10,000. We get what? 10,000. So 20 minus 10 is what? 10. So this is what we are supposed to do. Then our current assets, so here we, we take the closing inventory, the closing figures, that is what we take. So the closing inventory here, what you are going to do, if you come to your question, the closing inventory, for for raw materials 24,000 stock finish port work these are all closing stock then you take bank this adjustment is your asset cash is your asset these are your assets the drawings usually they list the what they list the capital they reduce the capital drawings we are making drawings time after time to reduce your asset your capital. So when you are coming here, that's why you find out that you have got 24, 40, 15. All our our stock, our inventory consists of raw material, finished goods and work in progress. You should take care of that. Then our data, those account receivables, they are part of it. Since there is no any adjustment of accounts of bed debt, so which means that we can take our our data as they are 142,300. Unless if there was any clause, we say they need to be adjusted, then we adjust. Bank is given, cash is given, no problem. Current liabilities creditors, they are given 64,000. Uh, they are clearly stated that debtors and creditors, 142 and yes, 64,000. So these are clearly what stated. Then uh, financed by capital, we wrote here, we wrote here. Uh, uh, that which is given on the trail balance, the capital is given on the trail balance. DA on the credit side, this is the capital. But the capital can be reduced by what? By the drawings. The drawing they reduce what? Our capital. That's the problem. Drawings reduce our capital. So you see that our capital is going to be reduced by drawings, but it's going also to be increased by a um, profit. The profit which you are going to get here, 89,800, that is the one which you are going to add on the balance sheet here, 89,800. But our profit is going to be reduced by the drawings. So, uh, any question on that? Any question on this question? Any question on this question? Hello, class. Hello. Hello.
Aló, class. S. Any person? There are uh, only no. two people. There are only two people left. At that, I think they are busy trying to write the test. Any question? I know, say. If you don't have any question, I'll share with you the those who attended. I'll share with them the recording. Okay, sir. Okay, th thank you so much. Uh, thank thank you. you for for the lesson. Have a thank good you. day. Same to you, sir. Okay.